we are finally gonna talk about glue, which we have touched, you know, bases here and there. But the glue is one of the most important elements when you are lashing. Because not only do you need to know the product itself, but you need to know how to choose it in order to have the best results while you are lashing. One thing that we need to make sure that we clarify is the fact that we do not use medical grade adhesive. The difference between the medical grade adhesive and eyelash extension professional use adhesive is that the medical grade adhesive is to be used on the skin and interiors of the body and also under lots of humidity and sub-zero temperatures. On the other hand, our professional eyelash extension adhesive is to be used only on the eyelash, the natural eyelash, right on top of it and not on the skin. And you can also use this under very high temperature and humidity. The glue is one of the most important elements when you are lashing. Not only do you need to know the product itself, but you need to know how to choose it in order to have the best results while you are lashing. Methacrylate is also another component found inside of the glue, also known as PMMA, and this is basically the pigment inside of the glue. And you have to understand that most of the time when a guest is exposed to an allergic reaction or allergy, it is because of the pigment. The pigments come in different colors like brown, black, transparent, and this is basically what causes the allergies to your guest. Not always, it's the glue as such. Now, this is exactly why we need to make sure that we are um, doing a patch test. And remember, we are not doing a patch test on the skin. We are actually gonna do a patch test on the natural lash where it's not touching the skin and we can do one side transparent and the other side we can do a pigment and see how that works for your guests. Make sure you wait 24 hours before the initial application. The adhesive evolution goes back further than we've ever imagined. Methyl, ethyl, alkoxycyanacrylate, methyl, ethyl, okay. As you heard in the song, uh, you have methyl, which started first, and this was a very strong component with lots of vapors. Then we moved on to ethyl, and this obviously got a lot better. The vapors were lower, and the adhesive was a little bit more um, manageable. And now we are using alkoxy cyanacrylate, or like my friend likes to say, Alkoxycyanoacrylate. And this is the glue that we are using right now, and it is a lot more manageable, less vapors, and has a lot better retention. Also, I forgot to mention that for this particular component, the shelf life is a lot longer. Now, this is exactly why you have to make sure that you are reading all of the information on the backside of the adhesive. That way you are just very well informed in how you can use the glue um, properly and at its best. These adhesives obviously work under a certain temperature and humidity, which is why you need to make sure that you are checking with the manufacturer that you are working under the temperatures or conditions that are best for the adhesive that you are using. Now, if you're not working with the optimal conditions of the adhesive, this can cause for the adhesive itself 
to not work properly and this means that um, it could get really tacky or it could get very liquidy and not work properly and that means that the retention of the extensions that you are applying are not going to be the way that you initially anticipated for. Now, if the adhesive is tacky, this means that you need to change it a lot more often uh, because if you are not changing it, that means it's going to get stringy and it could get all over the place and that is not what you want. If the adhesive is too liquidy, that means that you need to change or fix something that is wrong with the temperature or humidity in the work area. Keep in mind that the hygrometer has a very important role in this whole situation because it reads the temperature and humidity, which is why you need to make sure that you keep it right next to you in your workspace or wherever you are lashing. That way it reads the proper temperature and humidity while you are lashing. Another very important factor is how you insert the extension into the drop of glue. Another very important factor is the use of uh, jade stones and crystals. This maintains the temperature of the glue. Because the surface of the jade stone is a lot more slippery, this causes for the adhesive to expand, which is why we recommend for you to use a tape over the um, jade stone or crystal to maintain that little cute bubble so that you can apply um, the extensions right at the center of that glue. If and when the glue expands, this is why you want to make sure that you are placing strands of tape. It, it could be whatever works for you. You can place it in crisscross or like a star or just like different types of strands. And then once the glue becomes tacky, you can go ahead and remove those strands and apply a new dot of glue. Also remember guys, when using tape, make sure that you are not using any tape that has fabric because it is flammable and absorbs the adhesive. So I know it's a little complicated, but that's just kind of how the adhesive works and it's something very important that we all need to know. I really hope that you all enjoyed today's video. I hope that it was very interesting and educational. Make sure that you like, and if you don't like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs down so that we know. Um, subscribe, click that notification button. Um, and if you are watching from Facebook, yes, Facebook, make sure that you are hitting on those three little dots so that you can know when we are gonna post another video. So basically you're gonna turn on your notifications on. Um, if you want to watch this video but in Espanol, asegúrate de seguir a nuestra amiga Adriana que va a tener este mismo video pero en Espanol. Once again, thank you all for your continuous support. We will see you all in the next video. Bye!